Hello and welcome back to Digitex. Before I begin, I need to tell you about a survey I made on Typeform. Typeform is another place where you can create surveys. So I made this Digitex satisfaction survey. If you could, if you have like two, three minutes, just please take this so I know how I'm doing and how I should improve. Now, let's begin. Today we're going to go on Typeform, like I said earlier. I'm going to click login. I'm going to click, if you don't have an account, you have to create one. I'm going to click new type form now and I'm going to click start from scratch. So, you can always use a template, but I like to make it how I want it. So I'm going to type digitips. And you can add an image, video, something like that. So I'm going to add an image. I'm just going to search up an iMac. Go on images on Google. And then what I can do is I can just take this image and I can just drag it to my desktop. So all you have to do is drag it to your desktop. Now I'm going to click image add. I'm going to upload. And I'm going to drop the file and have an iMac right there. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go on to the actual survey. So, we, when the person clicks start, you can. I'm going to click a short text. I'm going to write, what is your name? And, I'm, and they're going to type their name. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Yes, no block. I'm going to start with hello. Then I'm just going to click the at. Shift to at. I'm going to click add variable from. Add variable from. What is your name? So then whatever they type here will come up there. Hi. What, a, what is your name? Then I'm going to write. Do you like Digi? Then they can click yes, no. Next thing I'm going to use is an opinion scale. So I'm just going to drag that right here. And I'm going to write on a scale from 1 to 10. How much do you like Digi? And then they can read it on a scale of 1 through 10. But let's just say I want it on a scale of 1 through 5. Or 0 to 5. Make it 0 to 5. Let's just say I want it to start at 1. I don't want it 0. I can like that right there. And I can make it 5 steps. I'll just make it 10 steps for now. Because 10 steps is very normal. Now, next I'm going to do is a picture choice. I'm going to write which company in your opinion is the best. Now I can write Apple and I'm just going to click the enter key or return on Mac. And then I'm going to do Google and Samsung. Now, I can add images there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up an Apple image. Apple. And then I'll just take this logo. And again, I'm going to drag it to my desktop. And then I'm just going to click this plus icon right here. And just click upload up here and drag it right there. So now you have an Apple logo right there. Next, I'm going to do Google. So let me search up a Google logo. Google images. And then I'm going to take this G right here. Drag it to my desktop. And I'm going to click 
Gloss, drag this in that one. Last, I'm gonna use Samsung. And I'm gonna click images. And I want this Samsung logo right here. I'm gonna drag it to my desktop again. And then I am going to click the plus icon. I'm gonna drag that right there. And then I have Apple, Google, Samsung. And then what I'm gonna use is a rating scale. This is a rating scale, it's like a star rating scale. So I'm gonna make this five stars. How how much would you rate Digi Dips on Yelp? Not on Yelp, but let's just say I was on Yelp, Digi Dips was on Yelp, and you had to rate it star. So I'm I'm not on Yelp again, but. That's how we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna do about yourself. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a question group block. I'm just gonna drag that right there. I'm gonna write about yourself. Gonna type my first question, which is gonna be write a sentence about your self, and then I'm gonna make that long text, and I'm gonna make that specific question required. Next, I'm going to use I'm just going to use another one in the question block. I'm just going to click enter. And this time, I'm just going to click here, block settings. And I'm going to select the block of multiple choice. Multiple choice, right up there. And I'm going to type which companies computer do you use I'm gonna say Apple Windows and then lastly I'm just gonna take a statement block and I'm gonna type my statement right here and I'm gonna write Thank you for taking this survey. And then I'm going to have the person's name. What is your name? Then I'm going to use I can see you like the company. And then it's going to be either Apple, Google, or Samsung. So I'm just going to click the at. And I'm going to click this one. And then I'm going to type, I also know you like, not like, you use the company. Of, I'm going to change Windows to Microsoft because it will make more sense of this. And I'm going to do, I also really like the company of, and then I'm going to write add again, and which company's computer do you like? For computers. So this, and then when the person books continue, they just have to submit this. Now I'm just gonna click the save type form up here. 
and I'm gonna go view. Now when I want to take the survey, look at this. It says new type form up there. I don't want that. I want it to say digitals. So then I can always change this thing up here. And write digi depths. Now I can click save and view. And now it says digitals up there. It says digitals. I'm gonna click start. What is your name? Digital guy. So then it says hello digital guy. Do you like digitals? Yes. Then and then I'm gonna click Apple. Five stars. Then it's like a question group. I can click enter or continue. So I'm gonna write I am part of Digi Depths. And then which company's computer to use? Apple. So it says thank you for taking this service survey, digital guy. I can see you like the company Apple. I also know you use the computer company of Apple for computers. So then let's just say I change this to Google. Down here it will say Google. If I change it back to Apple, down here it will say Apple. So I can just click submit and here you can if you click on results we'll show you the results. Average time to complete since not since not a lot of people completed it, it won't. It doesn't show an average time. But if you have like at least I think three people, it will show you an average time to complete over there. So you can see my responses, or I can see it individually. So I just click responses, and I can see this right here. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.